folks, Crazy Glamour 80 here again, and let's do another game show review. What the hell? This is of the show Battle Stars, also known as the new Battle Stars later on. This was uh, kind of a ripoff of Hollywood Squares. In fact, it was nicknamed Hollywood Triangles uh, because of the way the set was constructed. But it ran from October 26, 1981 to April 23, 1982 on NBC around 10.30 or 11 in the morning. Aired uh, after Wheel of Fortune and before Password Plus, it replaced Card Sharks and Password Plus's old time slot and was replaced by Texas, a soap opera. Host was Alex Trebek, announcer was Rod Roddy. It was taped at NBC Studios in Burbank, California and was uh, created by Merrill Heater Productions. Uh, the theme was by Mort Garson. It was written by Bob Logan and Gary Johnson. Producer was Robert Noah and director was Jerome Shaw. Executive producer, Merrill Heater who uh, co-created Hollywood Squares with Bob Quigley, who had, by that point, retired. The episode's uh, status, I'm not sure about it. If any episodes are still around, it's perhaps owned by MGM. Philip McKinnon! Debbie Reynolds! Jenny Lee Harrison! Rip Taylor! John Bowser Balvin! are the battle stars. And here's the man in command, Alex Trebek. Excuse me. Thank you, Rod. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Nice to have you joining us once again for Battle Stars. We have our six very talented celebrities in place. Two contestants competed, and the champion starts. The goal is to be the first to capture three triangles out of the six, and in each triangle there was a celebrity. A randomizer will light up the numbers one to ten one at a time in a pattern, and the contestant will hit a little white plunger in front of them. It's hard to see in this picture, um, but that will stop the number. If the number is one to three or eight to ten, they automatically play with a celebrity. But if it's four to seven, they can pick from the top or bottom celebrity, unless one is captured. And it was possible to capture two celebrities at once. The celebrity is asked a question, and the contestant agrees or disagrees with their answer, just like Hollywood Squares. If they are right, they win that corner of the triangle. If they are wrong, they will lose their turn. But if they keep getting right answers, they can just keep on playing. Uh... The winner of three triangles is the champ and plays a bonus round, and there is a color for each contestant. One will be red and one will be blue, and the triangle that they they claim will be that color. One capture so far in this match, and that is Bowser in the upper right-hand triangle. Our challenger is in control, so the numbers will start flashing for you, Valerie. Press the button and do it. You get number eight, starting off today with a question for Debbie Reynolds. Oh, I want to talk to you girls about finance. <laughs> okay. You're a husband in a common law marriage. That has to do with finance. Uh -huh. According to the column, You and the Law, Debbie, what do you have to do to get a common law divorce? You're a husband in a common law marriage. What do you have to do to get a common law divorce? Yep. Uh-huh. Well, I think you just have to leave. All right. Is that correct or incorrect? Right or wrong, Valerie? Just leave. I think Debbie's right. No, you have to go to court. Just Why? like you don't get any money anyway. I never got any money. <laughs> you never, not ever. Boy, they never forget. No. Jackie, press the button. You're in control, and you could capture Debbie and Philip on this one. The number five will keep flashing until we get a right answer. Who gets the question? Let's try Debbie. Okay. okay. I'll try to do it. Sophia three. Loren says she waited a long time for it and couldn't believe it when it finally happened. What? I wish it happened to me. Well, it did, actually. She had a baby. You're right. That is the right answer. a long time for the baby. And it did happen to Debbie. It happened a couple of times. Philip and Debbie belong to you. Press the button and see if you can capture Rip on this question. Yes, go ahead, my darling. It's rather warm today. The vapors? No, the hot flashes. Leave me alone. Oh. 
Experts say that if your pants catch fire, Rip, <laughs> you should do this immediately. Slow down. <laughs> It's true. If your pants, if your catch, pants catch fire, fire, what should you do immediately? Well, you, <laughs> you can lie down and roll over and play dead. Rip is right. Right. You were right. That is the correct answer. Three good triangles. Bang, bang, bang. Just like that. Oh, boys. You're going to get to play for 5000 And Valerie, you're going to leave us, and we have about $600 in parting gifts for That's you with fine. our congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us here on Battle Stars. Okay, commercial break time. We'll come back to play the picture round after this. Now, this is the bonus round. A picture of a famous person is covered up by 16 squares on a 16-numbered grid, 1 through 16. The contestant gets to take three cards from Alex. Alex puts each card in a machine to determine its number. The three numbers are removed, revealing part of the picture. The contestant gets one more square of their choice revealed. They had a guess for uh, $5,000, I mean, if they got the guess right. And it was uh, actually 10000 around Christmas time. If they couldn't get it, they drew another card to reveal another square and could ask a celebrity of their choice for help. If no guess or the celebrity was wrong, uh, they could draw a total of two more times and opt for a celebrity to help them again twice, with the cash price decreasing each time, down to 5000 then 3000 then 2000 then 1000 They could then reveal two more tiles of their choice, one at a time for $500 or 250 for the final guess. And they were very, very likely to at least win 250 Early in the run, a free space was given to start uh, before the three cards were, uh, were given. If that free space card was chosen later, they would redraw. 4000 in cash, a $2,500 Mexican vacation, and now an opportunity to pick up an additional five grand. I'm going to mix them up this time. Vacation right. for two... Here we go. One from this end, one from that end, one from the middle, and into the decoding machine we get with number 16. Boo hiss. Didn't mix that up enough, obviously. Number 12, a little better. It's good when they're connected. Now we go to number five. If you wanted to complete the connection, you could select eight or nine, but you tell me which one you want to see. What do you think is okay. going to help you the most? Uh, let's go with nine. Mm. Oh, For 5,000. Come on, Jackie, who is this? You can do it. John uh, Belushi? No. Not John Belushi. Take another card. Take that one. Now, of course, you can call on any of our celebrities up there. Let's show them all number 10. And do we have any volunteers? Anyone want to take a chance? Uh, Betty White thinks she might know. It's a tough picture. Betty, Betty help Jackie out for, uh, for 3000 in cash. Is it Danny Thomas? No. Not yeah. Danny Thomas. No. We'll go to a $2,000 value. We'll try this one. Marlo Thomas. <laughs> Number 14. John Charles Thomas. <laughs> All right. We have six pieces of the picture showing. Anybody want to volunteer and help this lady? Not yet. No one. You've got to try it yourself, Jackie. Give me a name. Okay. Uh... Any name? Mae West. That's a good name, but it's not correct, obviously. Could have given my name. $1,000 value. We'll show you number seven. Darling, we're not getting enough of the eye or the nose or the mouth there. And that's making things very, very difficult for us. Still, no one up there is ready to volunteer. Jackie, mm -hmm. try it. Make a fool of try it yourself. Paul Newman. Paul Newman is wrong. Okay, Paul we're down Newman. to a $500 value. Where are my glasses, Paul Newman? <laughs> you tell me what show number you want to see now. Yeah, number <laughs> six will show you part of one eye. Number four, the other one. Thirteen, the mouth. What do you want to do? Well, let's try <laughs> six. Number six. Let's get an eye. Let's get an eye. Oh, I know who it is now! Okay. You want to go to Rip? I think he, he might have some idea. Rip for 500? He played Fiorello in New York. His name is Tom Bosley. You are correct. Bosley. He did play. Oh, I Fiorello in New York, and he's also one of the stars of Happy Days. But that's $500 in cash. Number seven, Rip. 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 That sound means we're out of time for the moment, so why don't we take a break for some important commercial messages we would like you to watch.
Rick, what kind of an award are you going to be presenting? Hair and hair. Hair, both of us hair. Old both hair of you pieces. hair? <laughs> Your hair looks pretty good today. Oh, I hope it looks that good tomorrow on Battle Stars, because that's when we're coming back. So long. Well, buddy, speaking, Battle Stars has been a marrow heater tonight. Some final thoughts on Battle Stars. The, the format was weak. The main game was pretty weak. Um, the whole uh, agree-disagree with a celebrity was obviously played before. Um, and the uh, bonus round was pretty lame. But darn it, the celebrities had a whole hell of a lot of fun on the show, and they were really entertaining. And Alex Trebek was never better. He was not only fantastic with his hosting style... But he uh, let the celebrities have fun, uh, and he reeled them in when they needed to calm down and uh, answer the question. Uh, it, there were a whole lot of prizes given away, a lot of great prizes, not just for part and contestants, but for audience members. Um, and the, uh, the, the stars, like I said, they were great, and the audience was fantastic. Worth checking out. And now we're going to look at the new Battle Stars. Charles Nelson Riley. From the Jeffersons, Marla Gibbs. Too Close for Comfort's Lydia Cornell. From Three's Company, Richard Klein. All My Children's Lawrence Law. And from Mama's Family, Betty White. All on the new Battle Stars. And here's the man in command. Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, Charlie Tuna. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. And a warm welcome also to the newcomers joining us for the first time up there. And down here we have two players who are anxious to continue the match that was started on our last program. They're trying to wind up playing a bonus round worth a little over $11,000. So the new Battle Stars ran from April 4, 1983 to July 1, 1983 on NBC again, and it ran around uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. The new announcer was Charlie Tuna. <laughs> that That's not his real name. I don't remember what it really is, but uh, the show replaced the Betty White panel show, Just Men, and it was replaced by Facts of Life reruns. It followed Dream House and was followed by the soap opera Search for Tomorrow. Now, the two main differences between Battle Stars and New Battle Stars was now there were two visible answers for the celebrities to give in the main game, and the bonus round was totally different. Flashing for you, Mary, so press the button. And you get number nine, and that means we start off this day with a question for Richard Klein. Here we go, Richard. According to Ann Landers, what is the greatest labor saving device for a housewife? One of these two answers on the monitor in front of you. Probably uh, the pill. Whoops, wait a minute. No, one of these two. Oh, one of the two that's on the board. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably a microwave oven, uh, Mary. Is that right or wrong, Mary? Oh, I'll agree. No, oh. the greatest labor saving device, according to Ann Landers, is a husband with money. We're back to Peter, the champion. <laughs> Press the button. Aaron. This Linda is for agree. the match. Oh, I agree. That's right. Yes, it was Aaron. That's why they called it Aaron's Run. Charles, Lee, and Richard belong to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Mary, Mary. Okay. Had a chance. Oh, you dealt sure with did. one question, and I bet you you're going to remember that microwave, microwave oven. Microwave oven. Who knows? That might be one of the parting gifts we have for you backstage, but Hopefully. somehow I don't think so. We've got some nice things for you, however, and thank you for joining us thank on you. the new Battle Stars. Mary Lawson. All right, Peter, you come on up here. Now you have two people to play for and win lots of prizes for. You won the match with Charles, Lydia, and Richard. As you know, those are the three stars you're going to be working with in a moment. First answer is worth 500. The next question, the correct answer, is worth an additional 500. If you get those two right, then you go on to play our battle star, Bonanza, which today is worth a lot of bucks. And, Charlie, let's find out what we're adding to it. It's a camping trip, Alex. It starts off when you and a guest will fly from Los Angeles to Tahoe via Air Cal. You'll enjoy friendly, courteous service aboard their conveniently scheduled flights furnished by Air Cal. And you'll take along a pair of camel tents, each designed to fulfill specific sporting and camping needs. Family and backpacking tents for outdoor shelter or a home away from home, furnished by Camel Manufacturing. 
And when you've had enough of the outdoor life, how about a weekend at Del Webb Sahara Tahoe Hotel and Casino at magnificent Lake Tahoe with 500 rooms, gourmet dining, and celebrity entertainment furnished by Del Webb Sahara Tahoe. And to help you be on time everywhere, a pair of Benra's Citation Super Thin Quartz Watches, yellow gold tone case with black dial and jewel crown, furnished by Benra's, plus a bonus of $5,000 cash. So the main event is worth $11,601. What that means, of course, is that if you win it, you'll wind up with twice what you have now, $23,000. Who are we going to start with, Charles, Lydia, or Richard? I'm going to start with Richard, please. All right, Richard, marriage is a sacred trust. Indeed. Who did George C. Scott trust enough to marry twice? Was it Trish Vanderveer, Joe Van Fleet, or Colleen Dewhurst? Married this woman twice. Wow, I didn't know he was married twice. But um, I know he was married to uh, Colleen Dewhurst, so uh, I would say Colleen Dewhurst. Married twice. That's the important part of this question. Is that right or wrong for 500 in cash, Peter? I'm going to disagree. Last bride was Trish Vanderveer, but Colleen Dewhurst is the woman he married twice. Okay, you're not going to have a shot at the 11,000, but you could win 1,000 in cash with the help of Lydia and Charles. Who gets the next one? We'll go to Charles, please. Once, nice. Richard Nixon unsuccessfully tried to find a job with the government. What agency turned Richard Nixon away? Was it the <laughs> FBI, the Bureau of Weights and Measures, or the CIA? <laughs> Well, at least it's not a Bible question. <laughs> <laughs> because they took so long in, 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 in typing it out, I'll say the Bureau of Weights and Measures. <laughs> Is that right or wrong, Peter, for 500 in C-A-S-H, cash? I'm going to agree. You're right. It's not the Bureau of Weights and Measures. <laughs> Let's get it out of there. <laughs> We're left with the FBI or the CIA. Which agency? I'm going to say the which... FBI. BI. You are correct. <laughs> nice going. Right. That's 500 for you. Now we go to Lydia to see if you can make it an even thousand. Lydia, what famous multimillionaire went down with the Titanic? Was it Andrew Carnegie, John Jacob Astor, or J.P. Morgan? Mm. Oh, God. Um, give me a hint, Charles. Um, John Jacob Astor. J.J.A. I'm going to agree. Absolutely right. Nice going, Lydia. And that means $1,000 in cash for you, taking you to 12,400 and, or 12,634, of which 6,000 is cash. And you go into another match, and who knows, you may get another shot at the Battlestar Bonanza. And next time out, you'll be playing for $13,699. <laughs> but first, we've got to take a commercial break. And we'll be back. Thank you for tuning us in, ladies and gentlemen. Do it again tomorrow. We'll be here. Someone in our audience, this has been a Merrill Heater production. Some final notes on Battlestars and the new Battlestars. Uh, a contestant could actually win more than two triangles at once. There was a way for them to win all six triangles, when really they only needed to win three to win the game. Uh, there, if they did get all six triangles, there was a special prize given. Uh, the numbers 1 were lit up in Battlestars, and they were put out or turned off in the new Battlestars. The show went to a commercial before a game even started. Episodes would straddle, which means that uh, uh, a game could be played the following episode, or continued the following episode. Uh, a sound effect would end the game and then they would go to commercial before the wrap-up. Lots of prizes were given away, tons of them. It's a very, very big draw for uh, contestants. There were uh, station plugs at the close. You know, During the credits, they would uh, announce what other shows were coming up or whatever on that channel. The format was really weak. I didn't, I didn't really care for the format uh, or the bonus games. I thought they were really lame. But the show's strengths, again, were the fun that the celebrities had and Alex Trebek's masterful hosting duties. Uh, the great audience, yeah, they, they were very, very supportive of the show. Um, we will also look, before we close, at some of the funnier uh, moments in Battlestars and the new Battlestars with the uh, celebrities being goofy 
that, that would often uh, put Rod Roddy in stitches or sometimes make Charlie Tuna laugh. The key of C. This is for a third possible captured battle star and the championship. The right to play for many thousands of dollars. Okay. Right answer or wrong answer? The key of C. Right answer. <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work out. Key of F. <laughs> Debbie left her seat again. Come back, Debbie. Come back, Debbie. All is forgiven. Don't leave the studio yet. But Jim, how are you doing? I'm lonely. I, I you know. <laughs> Anything we can do about it? Well, yes. Uh, you know, I mean, Debbie will pass by. Oh, come on, honey. Oh. oh! <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Class <Great> show. <laughs> Last time out, ladies and gentlemen, we were on the air for six months. We shouldn't make it past next Friday at this rate. J.M. Bullock! No, but that's just, you know, they usually call me J.M. Uh-huh, and Ricky finally got you, and it was well deserved. Now you can chase him. And we'll say goodbye to all of our fans here on Battlestar. So long, everybody. What part of the Mona Lisa is said to be the most perfect ever painted? Her <laughs> from our sponsor. You know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if Bill Cullen were hosting this show, none of this would have happened. <laughs> Who gets the question? Charles. All right. Charles. Charles. I like that. Charles. Charles Hi. Nelson. <laughs> According to the UN World Statistics, see, in brief, see, the average U.S. male lives to be 70 years old. How about a woman? No, thanks. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, uh, this is Claude Buddy speaking. Battle Stars has been a Merrill Heater production. Well, that was my look at Battle Stars and the new Battle Stars uh, Merrill Heater production game show. Kind of, kind of stupid uh, gameplay, I thought, but uh, the celebrities were really a lot of fun. It was a very funny show. Um, ran from uh, 1981 to uh, 1982 on uh, NBC for the Battle Stars, and in 1983 for uh, NBC as the new Battle Stars. This is Crazy Climber Ace, and thanks for watching Battle Stars and the new Battle Stars. Hope you all have a great Easter, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye, folks.